And then presenting cells <clears throat> are very important cells in the sense that many times the T cells, the ones that are going to destroy the microorganisms, they cannot identify the antigen. So therefore they need the help of antigen presenting cells. As the name says, uh, these cells are going to present the antigens to the T cells so they can be destroyed. So these antigen presenting cells are uh, usually cells that are wandering around your whole entire body trying to find microorganisms or they are just set waiting for them. Right, so then the main job is once they find an, an, a microorganism, they are going to phagocytize that microorganism and they are going to destroy it. They get the little pieces of these microorganisms called antigens and these antigens are displayed in the cell membrane so the lymphocytes T can identify these antigens and destroy these uh, microorganisms once they find these antigens. So what is it that uh, antigen presenting cells have? They are going to have a very important thing which is called the major histocompatibility complex. All the cells in our bodies are going to have major histocompatibility complex. As you can see here, it says, you know, genes in the chromosome 6. It's not important for you to know that. But what is important to know is that all the cells have major histocompatibility complex. Okay, so uh, since your cells have major histocompatibility complex, then and all your cells come from the same cell, then obviously your cells are not going to be destroyed when you have some of these major histocompatibility complex from somebody else, that's when they get destroyed. So basically, they are going to be your, your identification that all your cells are going to have is very important. Okay. So when, as you can see here, when IPC encounters an antigen, right, it phagocytizes that, and then it's going to be able to break it in pieces, okay? and display these antigens into the cell membrane. So and how is it going to display this antigen? Because it's going to do it using the major histocompatibility complex that is going to be in your cell membrane. Again, this is unique to every single person except in twins, obviously, right? But everybody has his own major histocompatibility complex. Okay, so let's take a look in here. Uh, right here you have an example of an antigen presenting cell, it phagocytizes the microorganism. Right here you have it, right here the microorganism gets destroyed, right? And then the pieces that are not, are gonna be antigenic, they're gonna be, obviously, uh, the antigen presenting cell will get, will get rid of it, but the antigens are going to be processed and they're going to be displayed in the cell membrane using the MHC, which is major histocompatibility complex. Remember, these are unique for every single person and uh, it is used in order to display the antigens, obviously, unless that you are twins. And this is the first step in the destruction of microorganisms using the uh, specific immunity. Right here, you have some examples of it. And then, so how this major histocompatibility complex is going to communicate to other cells so they can uh, try to identify what antigens it has, it's going to be using interleukins, right? Leukocytes are white blood cells, so it's why you see here interleukins. This is a way of communication. Basically, these are chemical signals from one white blood cell to another white blood cell. So let's go to the next topic, cellular immunity. So in this case, we need to talk about cells. As I mentioned before, in this case, the only cells that we are going to talk about are the T cells. We said there are two main types, lymphocytes T and lymphocytes B. So let's take a look at the types of lymphocytes T that we have. So we have four main kinds. Lymphocytes T cytotoxic. This ones destroy everything. This ones just find a microorganism or they found the antigen and they just destroy everything. T helpers, these ones are very important because these ones help coordinate the action of all the cellular immunity, all the cells together with the antibodies. So they're very important cells, this one right here. Regulatory, they're also important because they limit the immune response so it's not too much, so your own immune system, for example, does not destroy your own cells. And these ones are the memory cells, obviously. These ones are going to be responsible for, give you for giving you memory with respect to microorganisms that may attack you again. So if we keep scrolling down, these cells obviously work together in coordination. They coordinate, right, in order to provide the response. T cells can be also identified or be recognized as CD8 or CD4 cells. CD4 
are called uh, clusters of differentiation. You don't need to know just CD, right? These are glycoproteins that you have in your cell membrane. And for example, T helpers and the other ones, which are the T regulatory, are going to have CD4, okay? Uh, they are very important because this is what is going to be used in order to match with a major histocompatibility complex in the antigen presenting cell. So there's a lot of terms in here being used. There's going to be a little confusing. Let's use a figure that may be around here. Again, you have in here antigen presenting cell, major histocompatibility complex. Remember, they are part of the APC. And the CD4 and CD8 are part of the lymphocytes T. So if we scroll down right here, it says T cell activation right here. So we have the first part is antigen recognition. Remember, the antigen presenting cell um, is going to phagocytize the uh, microorganism. It's going to destroy it, and then it's going to display in the cell membrane. Using the major histocompatibility complex, it's going to display the antigen. Right here, you have the T cell cytotoxic or the helper. How that cytotoxic or helper is going to identify uh, this obviously is going to do it using the CD4 and CD8 that we explained before. Okay, so once it matches to it, then there's something else called co-stimulation because there's another protein in the cell membrane that is going to be used in order to uh, allow these uh, T cells to multiply and produce more so more cells can actually have the same information about this antigen that this particular T cell or TH or T helper got from the APC. So what happens then once it gets stimulated, it gets the co-stimulation, then the TC, the T, uh, lymphocytes uh, cytotoxic or helper are going to go through a process of clonal selection, meaning more T help, more uh, lymphocytes T cytotoxic, more helpers and T cell memory are going to be produced with the purposes of enhance the response that these cells, these cytotoxins are going to have against this antigen. So this particular antigen can be identified in another cell, the one in the microorganism, so the microorganism can get destroyed. So, right here, you have now, you have more lymphocytes T, lymphocytes T cytotoxic, that now they know that they need to find this antigen, they go into the blood, and they find the antigen in the microorganism, they attach to it, and they destroy it. So that's why it says in here attack, okay? The T helpers, what they're going to do is they're going to find more antigen presenting cells and they are going to identify the antigen and they are going to release interleukin. Remember that I told you this is the way they communicate with other cells? So right here, this interleukin is going to initiate or start or, or enhance the activity of other uh, natural killers, B cells, T cells, cytotoxic, etc., 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 necessary in order to enhance the response against the microorganism. Okay? So then, this way is how the lymphocytes T, cytotoxic, helper, and memory are going to work in order to help you with the immune. So let's go over this again because this is the part you need to understand regarding the uh, cellular immunity. You have the antigen presenting cell that is going to find an, an, a microorganism, is going to destroy it, and the antigens are going to be presented in the cell membrane using the major histocompatibility complex. Now that they are available in the cell membrane, lymphocytes T, such as the cytotoxic or the helper, are going to identify the antigen, so now they know how, what they need to look for. Co-stimulation is necessary, so this uh, and this lymphocytes T cytotoxic or helper can get more and more of them so that response can be enhanced. Now you have more cells that know what they need to look for, in this case, this particular antigen. So then the cytotoxic is going to try to find that in microorganisms. Once it finds it, it's going to destroy them. The lymphocytes T helper is going to enhance the response by producing interleukins and therefore activating other type of cells. And then the, obviously the uh, T memory is going to help us by providing memory. So next time we get the same infection, the response is going to be not only faster, but it's going to be bigger. Okay, so let's keep scrolling down. And then we're going to have in here attack. We already talked about it.
right? That's uh, basically the helper and the cytotoxic are the ones that are going to be responsible for that because the helper enhances the response. The cytotoxic is the one that is going to find the microorganism and destroy it. So if we keep scrolling down right here, you can see the function of the interleukins right here. Again, you get it's going to work by increasing the cellular immunity, the human immunity, as well as the non-specific defense. It's very important in order to do that. Then if you keep scrolling down, you have in here uh, some of the substances, chemicals that are going to be used by the cytotoxic in order to destroy the micro uh, microorganisms. It's going to use a lot of enzymes in order to destroy it. Interference we talk about is for the uh, stop viral replication in uh, some cells that are being infected with uh, viruses and that tumor necrosis factor which is very important in order to destroy cancer cells right so we mentioned that already memory is obviously going to be given to us by the lymphocyte T memory very important so we can get a faster response the next time that we have that infection